Odds are if you've ever owned a boat and you had a tarp on it, you have a hole in the tarp at some point in time. I'm gonna show you kind of a hack way to fix a hole in a tarp that doesn't cost a lot, it's easy to do, and you can do it just about anywhere. You need some commercial grade adhesive. You need some ripstop type nylon that uh, matches the tarp. And then some painter's tape, some paper, a tape measure, and uh, some material and uh, you can fix it uh, pretty quick and easy. And if you ever go to patch a tarp, typically what you wanna do is get material that's pretty similar to what the tarp is. Most of them are a Cordura or a canvas or black or gray, what have you. The tarp I happen to have is black. So what I have here are two patches that I've already measured and cut out because when you do a tarp, you wanna sandwich that tear. So I'm gonna put a piece of, uh, fabric on the back side and the piece of fabric on the top side. Spray the adhesive uh, over that area, sandwich together, and odds are that hole will stay covered for a very, very long time. Let me show you how I do it. You want to work off a flat surface counter or something something that you can get the tarp up on. Here we got it in the corner of a, of a tool cabinet. But what I want to do is I'm going to put a piece of cardboard underneath because we're gonna spray this area. But one of the key things, get yourself a piece of paper and you wanna cut out a hole in that piece of paper that represents that patch, okay? So I measured that patch out for this particular hole then I marked it out on the piece of paper and you wanna take an X-Acto knife and kinda of cut that out, okay? Use a piece of cardboard underneath it to, to cut that. Get this out of here. Okay, so you have that hole there. So what you want to do, and cover that up like such. Now, one of the critical things you want to do when you do this is tape this down so you don't get any overspray onto the tarp. That's where the painter's tape works pretty good. Now the size of the hole here is actually just a little bit bigger than the patch itself because what I want to do is kind of tape that down ever so slightly so it's right on the material. Then you can just peel it up when you get done with it. So I'm just catching the edge of that material with the painter's tape. So you can see we got that all taped up. That patch is gonna lay in there like that. But what we wanna do is spray that now with the spray adhesive. Shake it up. And you wanna kinda of let it get tacky before you marry the two pieces together. So put my glasses on here. And then I always test it a little bit to see what that looks like on it. And this kinda of gives it a nice wide pattern so I can coat it both ways. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right to, to uh, left. Okay, and then I'm gonna go that direction as well. So then I get good full coverage of that. Now I'm gonna let that get tacky. Now on this piece here, there's two sides of the material. You want the shiny side up. This is the backing side, and I'm gonna do the same thing here that I did with that. So I'm gonna take this and spray the back of it. Now you can tape it down if you want. Here it's a big enough piece, it's not gonna blow away, but. And I kinda of work from the center out on this so you get nice all the way out to the edge is what you want. That's probably the most important piece is to get it out all the way to the edge because that's, if it's gonna fray or if it's gonna pull up, it's gonna do it along the edge. Okay, so now direction said, wait about anywhere from three to 10 minutes until this gets tacky. We're gonna let that set up. Then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on there. 
Now, before you put this on, you can see we got adhesive on this cardboard. I always have a couple extra pieces of cardboard. We're gonna replace it with a good piece of cardboard that has no adhesive on it. That way, once we stick it together, then I can pull it off that cardboard and I don't have to worry about it sticking. So, see it's starting to tack up a little bit. We'll let, we'll let it go a little bit more. Now, before we put this whole thing together, we want to remove our patch. Okay, and be careful with that. You don't want it to stick together like a Band-Aid. All right, we're gonna set that off to the side here. And then our jig here, we're gonna pull that off. You can kind of see what we have. So that's where the patch is gonna go. So then what we wanna do, and be careful with this so it doesn't sandwich together, is kind of line it up where you want that to fall. And we're gonna start at one edge here. I'm gonna work our way across. Make sure your fingers aren't gooey so you don't get anything on, the, on that. Minimize it. Okay, and take that out there. And there you have the back side in place. When you use adhesive on both pieces of material, it gives you the best bonding opportunity. So that'll stay together. So now what we gotta do is take care of the front side. Okay, so you can see here, here's where the hole, here's the back side of the, uh, the patch. So, I'll flip that over like that, reposition this tarp here, and what we're gonna do is take this piece of material that we saved, our silhouette cutout, and line that up, get that in place. At this point, we're just repeating the process. I put the jig over the top. We're gonna spray this with adhesive along with the other patch, let it set up and put it together and we should be done, okay? Okay, we'll let it tack up a little bit. See that we're done with this jig, we're gonna just pull this whole thing off. This is nice and, and tacky now, so we'll get a nice uh, adhesion when I put these two together. And you can see right here in the center, that's the back side of the other patch that's on the back. So I'm gonna line this up, sandwich together, uh, Seal it and it should be good. Okay. And the reason I'd like to let it get a little bit more tacky than I did on the back is it's easier to line it up to get everything in place. Typically you want to start on one side and then just kind of work it across so that way it doesn't come down and catch. Kind of work it from the center out. That's why you want to get adhesive all the way out to the edge. And even though if you have some here, a little overburden, you let that dry up and you can take the razor blade and just kind of scrape that off a little bit. So you have a patch on the front, patch on the back. That makes for a nice, heavy patch together. Keeps it in place with the commercial adhesive. That's uh, waterproof and heat resistant. This works pretty darn good for a makeshift patch that you gotta do in the garage or on the road uh, to fix a hole in your boat tarp.